In 2004, Sarah Wiseman won Metro Magazine's Best Actress Award for her portrayal of Roberta in Danny in the Deep Blue Sea. 13 years on, she's making her directorial debut with the same award-winning play. And it starts tonight. Welcome Sarah Wiseman and lead actor Jodie Hillett. Yes! Ooh, so nice to have you here. Um, Sarah, first up with you, welcome home. Oh, thank you. You spend a lot of time in Australia these days, don't you? Kia ora, I do. Mm. I do, yeah. So, so it's good to be back with this. Um, how long are you going to be here for? Um, well, I'll be seeing this play through and a little bit longer to launch um, another little web series thing and then yeah. Oh nice, okay back. maybe we might be able to hold her here a little bit longer. <laughs> um, Jodie, give me the synopsis of this play. Oh okay. Um, it's a test. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're uh, sitting here. <laughs> Don't fail. I'm fine. Um, yeah, it's set in the Bronx in the 80s. Um, and you've got two people who are going through some really um, strong, emotional, um, angry situation, life situations. They're, they're, they're on boiling point, the pot's simmering, and they just happen to find each other uh, on this night. And it's, it's great that they do find each other because uh, it, it could go badly right. if they didn't find someone to connect with because they're just both so desperate to connect with each other so it's these two people um finding each other uh, so sarah in a night does she pass no it wasn't i thought there was some prep gonna gonna happen. Happen. <laughs> you've um you wanted to bring this play to auckland haven't you was this is this really the first thing that got you your, your first reason that you got into acting yeah when when i was sort of uh, Embarking out seriously and because I'd had a, a bit of a bad experience in through high school around being an actor and that didn't end too well and Decided no, no, I do want to I do want to do this and I started taking lessons and um, This was the first play that I came across that a couple of actors were workshopping and it just hit me. I was so uh, gobsmacked by the text and the story and the provocative work that they were doing that I just bought it and read it and fell in love with it. And I was only um, 23 at the time and Roberta's 31. So if, it went, if I get good enough and if I can get there, this is the play that I want to put on. Well, well obviously it means, it means a lot to you and an important role. So Jodie, does it add a little bit of pressure <laughs> having <laughs> Sarah done this before, she, be award she, winning? She's played it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, really? Has she? <laughs> oh. Okay, pressure's on. Um, I can only be Jodie's version of this character. Um, I didn't see Sarah's version of it, which was probably a good thing. She mm. won awards. Oh. You didn't see it. Jordan, I, I love I love how you guys keep reminding me of this. <laughs> I didn't have any pressure, but now. Yeah, right, um, it's opening night tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I actually saw this. Um, I used this text at Toy Fikati, where I studied, and um, found, I was drawn to it myself and, and performed in a little excerpt from it. Um, and But, yeah, I mean, I Sarah did what she did with, the character and I can only do what I can only bring Jodie's version of this character. Uh, okay, okay. And is she bossy? She's doing great. She She's that. doing great. Oh, she's good. that's good. But is she bossy? Oh, <laughs> it's it's just been awful actually. Just the whole <laughs> process has been really tiresome. Yeah. Sarah, what's it like for you directing Jodie in, in a character that you obviously know so very well yourself? Is it difficult, or can you remove yourself enough to go, yep, yeah, this is different and it's good? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while now. It's been over 13 years, so it's crazy because all the lines come straight back. And it's how I, know, I remember Are every word. She does sometimes um, correct us on a line that's been dropped without looking at the script. Oh. So, so obviously the memory... <laughs> the memory's gone. Yeah, yeah, like yeah that. which is... But no, great. it's been great. It's been... have been able to distance. And, yeah, Jodie's bringing her flavour to it, and it's my job to bring out the best of her onto the stage, so that's that's what it's all about. Well, I can imagine the pairing of you two will be quite spectacular, so it's going to be an exciting night tonight. It's set in New York City, uh, in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Do you have to put on an, an accent? A Bronx accent? We do. Can we you do. give us Not a taste? One, but yeah. <laughs> that's, he has a general one. It's sort of Irish. Um, sort it's of, all of them. Yeah, yeah. well, it is yeah. such a melting pot anyway. Thank but, you. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Can, you, can you give us a line? Could you give us a line? Oh, oh, just I'll leave just something. You know, you you just gotta come. 
Oh. <laughs> it's so good that you've just got to see it for yourself in the flesh. Okay. Um, now, Sarah, because it's set in the 80s, is it some great 80s fashion that we're seeing as well? Well, I mean, it... it... It's it's not, too, no, it, well, I mean, great we made reason. it really. Mm. It didn't want to date it, and it's not dated. That, apart from one reference to Davy Crockett, it's it's so relevant to now. It's quite terrifying how relevant it is. So that's what's been amazing about it. It's that it just stands up just as strongly now and in New Zealand, despite the dialect. Right, um, excellent. Yeah, mm. but you do have a little bit of 80s going on. You do. Y yeah, great. And that's a good thing. Yeah. So it sounds exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Um, the award winning play, Danny and the Deep Blue Sea, is at Auckland's Basement Theatre from tonight until Saturday, the 2nd of September. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster. Thanks so much, yeah, guys. Yeah, good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great.